Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. I'm so sorry we didn't vlog yesterday, but honestly my foot was just hurting so bad and I wound up taking a pain pill yesterday and I slept most of the day and I don't think that would have been very interesting to you guys. So we missed a day of vlogging, but we are back today. I actually went to the doctor yesterday and they said, um, that the break was actually in a really good spot. And since it was on my fibula, which is a non-weight bearing bone, I can walk on it. It hurts really bad to walk on it, but I can. So they gave me a boot and um, at the orthopedic doctor and said I could walk. So um, that's been really helpful because before that I was on crutches and that little scooter thing and I just couldn't get things done and I was getting so frustrated and I swear if I had to do that for eight weeks I was gonna have a mental breakdown so when they said that I could walk and get in the walking cast I was so excited but then after I walked a bunch yesterday and tried to get stuff done I was just in so much pain so I'm gonna have to still take it a little bit easier, but I can walk, which is really good news. But um, today we got a lot of stuff going on. We've got our small group tonight, which is just when we get together with some other couples and have dinner and stuff, it's really fun. And Kyle's gonna be going to hang out with me, Mom. And um, I'm gonna try to get this house back in order because I don't know if any of you moms know, if we are out of commission for more than a day or two, our house is a disaster. Michael has done a really good job taking care of me, but this house is out of control. So I'm gonna try to get some housework done today. And we'll hey guys, I just wanted to take a minute to tell you guys a quick story. I was going through Facebook today and I know I'm on Facebook it has those things where it's like share your memory from a year ago and one of those popped up and the memory was this little baby right here coming home from the hospital after he lost his eyeball and i don't think we guys we've ever told you how gus lost his eyeball so i was just going to take this opportunity to tell you real quick let me adjust the camera basically what had happened was we went out of town for the weekend we had just gotten Gus. He was about two weeks old. We didn't want to leave him behind. We had already planned this trip to go snowboarding because Kai had been wanting to go snowboarding. So we carried him and Diddy on a trip on the trip with us. We found a pet friendly hotel, carried him with us. We only brought one cage. That was a huge mistake. But we just didn't have a lot of room in the car, and we thought they would be fine together because Gus bullied Diddy all the time, and Diddy never did anything back. So um. We headed up there. The first day was fine. Nothing happened. They were perfect together. And then the second day is when Michael and Kyler went snowboarding. And I went up. I didn't go snowboarding, but I went up there and watched them for a couple hours. And when we came back to the hotel room, <clears throat> I came in a little bit later. I don't remember why. I was getting something out of the car. And I get back and Michael says, don't come in the room. I start freaking out because I know something's wrong. I just knew something was wrong with Gus. And I finally come in. Gus's eyeballs hanging out. Whew. His little mouth was messed up. It was just, it was bad. It was one of the most horrific situations I've ever been in. I was freaking out. I don't do good in those type situations. Um, I was pretty much hysterical. We um, wound up calling and finding a, a doctor. Guys, you guys don't want to stay up here for this story? <clears throat> find an emergency vet on um, vet clinic in Asheville, North Carolina, who was absolutely amazing. We carried him up there. He wound up having to lose his eyeball, as you know, and um, he had to have surgery on his mouth because his um, jaw was actually broken. I'm going to insert some pictures here so y'all can see how bad it was, but just a warning, these images might scare kids, so if you're watching it with your kids, maybe um, have them turn their head because... It was really, really bad, but... But um, basically, what happened was they were in the cage together, Diddy and Gus, and Dixie has always been such a gentle dog, still is, but Gus is mean to Dixie. He's been mean to him since the beginning. He bites his tail. He'll grab onto it, go, Rrr. like, he's just mean. He's a bully. We love him, but he's a bully. And um, 
Diddy snapped at Gus before, never made any kind of contact, never has since. He'll just be like, Arr, you know, just snap at him, kind of a warning. But what the vet thinks happened was they were in such close quarters in that cage. When Dixie went to snap at him, he actually made contact. And just that one bite, it popped his eyeball out. Boston Terriers, their eyeballs can pop out kind of easier. So it popped the eyeball out and it broke his jaw. And that's how Gus lost his eye. Diddy attacked him. But we kept Diddy because we talked to the vet about it. We talked to several people about it. And they didn't think he would be a danger to us or Gus. So we wound up keeping Diddy. And Gus still hadn't learned his lesson because he is awful to Dixie. He still bullies him. He's a bully to all mean dogs. I mean, all big dogs. So I'm just hoping he doesn't lose this other eye. But that's the story of how this baby lost his eye. But I think he's way cuter without it. So I just wanted to. Just got caught from after school. Why are you so excited? Because it snowed. Hey, how hey. you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. You may have to help with homework because he had a little meltdown day. Oh, did he? Yeah. Okay. So I took his pen and he just went and put it, and put it in the trash. No. So he fine. Just you shouldn't have acted that way. Okay, I will. Okay. Thank you so okay. much for letting me know. We'll see you tomorrow. I don't know where my folders are, Mom. What do you mean? I swear, I, I don't know. Oh, wait. I forgot. Now I remember where it's at. Is it inside? Yes. Yeah, Hurry. Hurry, go get it. No, it's in here. Oh, okay. So why are you excited? Because it's snowing. Because it's snowing. Do you, can you show them? It, you can't really see it, but it's snowing. We might show you in a minute. Here comes Kyler. Oh, you okay, bud? Alright, so here's the room. Mm-hmm. As you can tell, molding is very lacking, but it's uh it's starting to come together. But uh, yeah, that that's uh, where we're at right now. We need molding up in here. We need to finish the headboard. I mean, finish the uh, bed up, and then we'll be good to go on the bedroom. So we're gonna give you all an update on that. We'll see you. Okay, guys, I think we are going to go ahead and end the vlog tonight. We've had a fun night. Kai's got to hang out with Aunt TT, and I got to go to a small group. And Dad just got to stay home and take it easy because he has been working his butt off this week and fighting the sinus infection. But um, we just wanted to get on here and tell you guys good night. You want to say anything, Kai? Um, just, for, just leave a thumbs up and that's a... And a subscribe down below and subscribe down below that's right guys we'll see you tomorrow and bye. the link down below and the link down below we'll see you guys tomorrow bye you say bye bye Boo.